Hey, what's up guys? We're back and uh, let's go ahead and get started on the tuning portion of this. And like I said, this is not the end all be all way to tune. There's a thousand different ways to do it. Um, all of them have their own merits. All of them are good. This is just what works for me. So uh, with that said, I got the uh, little Dayton mic on there for you guys. And uh, hopefully that will help keep the audio a little bit more clear and kind of help you guys hear what I'm hearing, even though It'll be in mono, but we'll talk about that later. <clears throat> um, Going to be using the uh, Helix with Rue, R-E-W, Rue EQ Wizard. Um, if you don't know how to set that up, Aaron uh, Bike and Punk on Dyma, DIY Mobile Audio, has done a great uh, video on it. Check it out. Um, I'm going to try and put a link to it in the description for you. Um, He's already taken care of that for you. Now, I'm going to try and keep these videos to 10 minutes or less. Um, just doing them in 1080p, no crazy 2K or 4K or anything like that. Um, just doing a tuning video here. But um, first off, we're going to start about talking about setting up some crossovers and how you guys should do it, or how I do it anyway, not how you should do it, but what works for me. So, what we're going to do is play some pink noise. Nothing uh, crazy about here. Just make sure that whatever, sorry, turn this down while I talk. Just make sure whatever pink noise tracks you guys are using, use the same one um, all the time. So download one and just make that yours. Uh, they're all a little bit different. So if you use different ones, you could get different results when you do um, testing. So right now I just have all of my... Uh, my front basically each set of speakers tweeters mids lows as you can see up here they're all linked together um, we'll go ahead and take that off later but for right now setting crossovers and stuff just make things a whole lot easier since we're not doing any independent left right stuff yet so I will show you how I I like to be in the vehicle when I'm doing my uh, sweeps, um, like I said, pink noise, and I feel like having a person in the driver's seat is better since that's how you're going to listen to it anyway. Someone's going to be sitting in here, so you want to kind of take up that space with your body. You know, your leg might be in front of the speaker down here. Um, you know, if you sit over here or up here or whatever, that's going to affect the way that that speaker sounds and how it gets to the uh, driver's headrest and your ears. So, with that being said, I'm going to uh, sweep the mic from ear to ear. Uh, some people do it fast, some people do it slow. I do it slow myself. <clears throat> Again, I don't think there's any wrong way to do it. Um, just mind you, if you are doing it fast, um, that can affect the lower end results because of the wind moving or the air moving over the microphone at a faster pace. It's going to be louder, so that will be, get picked up on your RTA. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a uh, sweep of the tweeters. I'll go ahead and uh, mute everything else. I think I got them all. We'll find out here in a second. Uh, sounds like I missed one of the subs. There we go. So I'm just doing my tweeters right now and um, go ahead and take the frequency, bring it down some. Now be careful with this if, sorry, turn that down for you guys again. Be careful with, especially like tweeters or small mids. Um, if you put it on uh, basically like an all pass, um, obviously that's gonna be playing really low frequencies. Um, it is pink noise, so it's going to be playing everything at once. So you can blow your equipment easily doing something like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it at 728 and take a quick sweep and see what it's at. Uh, just so you guys can see what it's naturally rolling off at. Uh, then I'll do one louder with it um, to go ahead and uh, get a more realistic level setting. Um, so let's go ahead and do that.
right, so we got our graph here, and uh, let's go ahead and um, expand the limits of it since that was a really low um, low setting. Obviously, it's not set up for true uh, settings, and anything below you know four or five hundred hertz is probably or two or three hundred hertz. It's just coming from the uh, the environment of the car. So you guys can see right here, it kind of rolls off about 1,000K. Um, we want to, I kind of have a little bit of an advantage. I've already used this setup in my car, so I know, you know, where about my settings are going to be at. Um, that being said... I know my mids can play at least up to five or six K. So personally, I'm going to go ahead and just set this about five K for now. I'll fix that later. Um, let's go ahead and do the mids and show you how those kind of interact with each other. All right, so we got the mids playing and we're going to take another sweep. And right now, make sure... Um, I'll go ahead and bring this down for you guys. So the ScanSpeak 10F mids, um, it's labeled as a four inch, it's really three inch uh, ScanSpeak measures from the outside. But uh, the ScanSpeak 10F, um, I'll go ahead and set the crossover up a little bit. Again, I know about where they play so I can trim the volume up a little bit louder and uh, get, a, get a reading for you guys. So here's our mids playing. Um, not quite uh, what I remember on the top end, but we'll go ahead and take a look at that later. Um, <clears throat> let's see. So 300 starts rolling off, especially after 200 starts rolling off really deep. Um, let's see. So 10 to 30, that's about 20 decibels. Uh, per octave, uh, so pretty close to a 24 dB slope on that between here, uh, maybe closer to an 18, but, um, so we're going to go ahead and set that at about 300, and on the top end, uh, let's see, do uh, 5,600 or so. And let's bring back in the tweeters and the levels aren't set yet between the both of them, but you guys go ahead and get an idea. Um, what did I set this at? 56, so I'm going to bring my tweeters in uh, about 6,000, And I can also, uh, especially when measuring high frequencies, uh, point the mic towards the speakers and not just pointing up. The mic's omnidirectional, but when you point it forward, it's going to uh, get a better um, reading of the higher frequencies, about 10,000 K and up, or 10 K and up. Um, so let's go ahead and do that, play those together for you guys and see what we come up with.
I know I'm right over the 10 minute mark. Um, obviously the mids are playing at a much higher level than the tweeters are. So we can go ahead and take our mids, take the output gain down, say uh, four decibels. That shows a whole lot more, but we're going to go ahead and see how that sounds real quick. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video and we'll go ahead and uh, uh, do another video and catch up in a second.